Let's have a quick look at the comping features in Studio One version 3.2. I'm just going to expand my layers over here. And you'll notice that we have a couple changes. Right off the bat, we can see that we now have different colors that we can choose here when working with our individual layers. So we can now choose different colors. You'll also notice that we have a new quick swipe mouse cursor when we're doing our comps. So you can see here this new icon that we have. Now one of the other new features that we have is that we can actually make changes to our comps directly from our main track layer. So if I hold down the Alt key and I can use my mouse wheel to either scroll up and down, or I've also got two other shortcuts here. So I can use the Option G or Option H or Alt H on a PC. We'll move our layer content selection forward by one. So have a look at this number here. I can scroll through these different takes just by clicking Option G or Option H. It's a very powerful tool because we no longer have to expand our layers to comp. We can now comp directly from the main track layer. Now I want to quickly draw your attention down here. I'm just going to right click our loop active icon here and you'll notice that we have a new preference here, loop followed selection. So let's go ahead and enable that and let's have a quick look at what that does. So you can see here that as I'm making a selection, it's automatically looping this. And because I have my cursor follows edit position enabled, it's automatically placed my cursor at the very beginning of that loop selection. So this brings me to another point. Let's go back to this track here and expand our layers. Now in Studio One 3.2, in addition to being able to comp with the quick comp workflow that we've always had, we now have a different style of comping that we can do as well. So for instance, I can switch over to the range tool now, and you'll see that as I make range selections, two things are happening. First of all, because we have this new preference enabled, loop follow selection, anything that I select with the range tool, my loop is automatically following that selection. Now, if we pair this with another preference that we already have in Studio One, Solos Follow Selection, this can offer a slightly different workflow approach when doing comping. So for example, I could select this Take One now, I can solo out this take, and then based on the range selection that I have made, I can go through these different takes and it's automatically going to solo the individual takes. So I can listen to these individual takes in context with my project. And then when I'm happy with something, I can use a new shortcut, Option V or Alt V on a PC to automatically promote that to the main layer. So I can just go ahead here, make my selection, move through the takes, and when I'm happy with it, I can basically automatically promote that. So those are the new comping features we have available in Studio One 3.2. In the next video, let's have a look at the all new VCA faders that have been added in 3.2.